I have really bad phlegm in my throat. <coughs> a really bad cough, and I feel really sick. For about two to three days. This NE department sees about 300 people per day. It's a very busy department dealing with medical emergencies. So what is an emergency? You may think that you have an emergency, but A&E might not be the right place for you to receive treatment. Many people come to A&E because they can't get an appointment with their GP or out-of-hours GP, or that they come here because they think they'll have all their tests and investigations, such as blood tests and x-rays, all done in one place at the same time. Unfortunately, this isn't always the case. We're not a catch-all for people, and we're certainly not here for anything and everything. When you come into the emergency department, the first thing that happens is you book in at reception desk and give us all of your details. Then you have a seat and wait to be called in to see the nurse. Megan Rose, please. Good morning. Good morning. What's the name? The nurse will make a decision on whether or not this is an emergency at all or whether you'll be better treated somewhere else. Two or three days ago, I woke up with a really tickly cough. If you come to A&E with chest pain, shortness of breath, or some other major complaint, you will be seen long before somebody that comes to A&E with a sore throat. Waiting times in the emergency department could be very long so it may be better to seek treatment elsewhere for a minor condition. So, what are the treatment options? If you do have a life-threatening emergency, then you should dial 999. But if the problem is not life-threatening, or you're not sure whether it is a life-threatening emergency, then you can telephone the NHS 111 service. 111 is the NHS non-emergency telephone number to use to speak to a trained advisor who is supported by healthcare professionals. Hello, you're through to NHS 111 service. You're speaking to Sarah, I'm a health advisor. How can I help you? Hello, I've got a really bad earache and my local GP's closed. I really don't know what to do. Can you help me? OK, so you've got earache at the moment. Have you got any other symptoms at all? No, I'm not. OK, so what we'd like to do is we'd like to run for assessment and see what help we can get you today. At NHS 111, we deal with all sorts of healthcare queries and we're an assessment and referral service primarily to use when it's less urgent than 999. Okay, so you've the initial assessment's completed by a health advisor. They're specially trained to deal with these sorts of calls and then we also have clinical advisors that deal with complex cases, patients with complex needs and we can also provide home management advice. Just to run through a few questions, so have you had any fever in the last 12 hours? No. No, you haven't. Have you got anything blocking the ear at all? Not that I know of. No, and have you had any loss of hearing? No. As this is a telephone based service and we can't see the patient, we often need to ask a and lot of questions in order to reach a safe outcome for the patient. Since this evening. So from what you have told me, you can manage these symptoms at home. So just to give We're primarily an out of hours service and we can refer patients on to a wide range of services during these periods. This can be anything from 999 services to hospitals, out of hours GP departments. We provide mental health support numbers and we can give home management advice. We're also responsible for referring people back to their own GP if the issue is non-urgent. Your GP practice can deal with a whole range of health problems. They will usually have an out-of-hours telephone service and you may be able to book an appointment online. Hi there, uh, I've got an appointment with a GP. Your name please? Mr Wallace. Mr Wallace, take a seat, doctor will call you shortly. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. If it is not an emergency, the best person to go to is your GP. They will be able to manage your ongoing conditions. I know that sometimes it could be difficult to get a GP appointment. However, it's important to know that many surgeries have emergency appointments. Some have walk-in sessions where you can attend without an appointment. There are out-of-hour GPs in Dartford, Gravesend and Bexley. To find out about them, ring 111. Sometimes when you do, they can even book an appointment for you at one of these out-of-hour centres. If you have a non-emergency problem, one place that you can go and get very good advice and treatment is your community pharmacist. Hello. Terrible pain in my shoulder. And I'm wondering... Community pharmacy is an underused service in the NHS. We're experts in our field and we know as much about medication as other healthcare professionals. We can provide treatment on minor conditions such as aches and pains, cystitis, skin rashes. Sometimes patients just want to talk through their conditions with us and we're able to help them decide whether they need to see their GP or if it's something that needs to be referred to A&E. So we can signpost them to the correct healthcare provider. Pharmacies are very convenient, they're open for long hours and there's probably one very local to where you live. If you need treatment for an injury that is not serious or life-threatening, 
An alternative to visiting A&E is a minor injury unit, an urgent care centre or a walk-in centre. This is the minor injury unit at Gravesham Community Hospital. Um, I've been playing hockey today and I've fallen on my front and I think I've broken my wrist. This is Gravesham Minor Injuries Unit and we're staffed by emergency nurse practitioners and an emergency care practitioner. Right, would you like to take a seat on the chair there please? I'm closing the curtain. We treat all sorts of injuries, we treat wounds, lacerations, we can suture, we can plaster, we can x-ray. If somebody comes in with what turns out to be a really serious condition, we arrange transfer for them to the nearest A&E. The accident and emergency department is for real emergencies where urgent interventions are essential. If you haven't had an attack, there is no better place to be than the emergency department. Seconds count. Getting treatment early can save your life. So having to deal with people with non-emergency conditions makes it really hard for us to deal with those with real emergencies. So for problems that are not life-threatening and so don't require coming to A&E, your GP is generally the best option. If you need advice whether this is an emergency or where the best place to get treatment out of hours is, phone NHS 111. Many non-life-threatening but urgent problems can be treated at minor injury units, urgent care centres or walk-in centres and a good source of advice on medical matters is your local pharmacy as well as the NHS Choices website.